I think the writers are using to try to protect one of their brethren is that, you know, you can only vote for 10 people. So maybe he, he figured, as Don said, he's going to get in anyway, and I don't want this guy to be taken off the ballot. That's ridiculous. This was not that deep of a ballot. Take a look at the, the top 10 finishers. I'm sorry, this is not that deep a ballot that you had to have make that kind of maneuver. Nobody else had to make that kind of maneuver. And you cheated Derek Jeter out of being a unanimous selection. Now, he still has the most votes ever of anybody other than Mo, and the most of any position player ever, even more than Ken Griffey Jr. But all I'm saying, I don't care whether you voted for him or not. That's your personal decision. But this is the yeah. entertainment business, and you, you cast a vote. And be a man or a woman enough to stand up and say who did it and tell us why you did it. It's I hard. think that's only fair. It's hard to feel bad for Derek because look at all of the players that some of them had to wait longer than they should have or have votes in the low 80s because of the stupid reasons from decades ago. Well, Joe DiMaggio didn't go on the first ballot, so nobody's going to go on the first ballot. Or, or I don't vote for closers. You know, or silly reasons like, I don't vote for that guy because he was mean to me one time or didn't grant me an interview. Do you know how many guys barely got in or maybe didn't get in or had to wait a long time for stupid reasons like that? Yeah. Now, it looks like we've cleaned a lot of that up. So it's hard to really call Derek a victim. As you said, he's the second highest percentage of anybody in the and history he, of baseball. And he handled it great. Yes, yeah, sir. of course, because it's really hard to complain about it, really. You know, he would only be only the second guy to go in at 100%. I don't think anybody should look at the percentile and judge that that means he's the second greatest player and that Moe's the greatest player of all time. So it's really kind of nonsense. But what I want to get to the bottom of is why does that guy allowed to have a vote if he can compromise things like that? Well, I, I don't even look at it as taking away his vote. I, I, I mean, the guy who voted for J.J. Putz should have his vote taken Absolutely. away. Absolutely. Because you're just goofing on the whole procedure. J.J. Right. Putz had a and nice Brad major league career. Too. Brad Penny, but I'm sorry, they're not Hall of Famers. They should not receive a vote. I just want the transparency of I want to be, I want to have it explained to me. I, I want to understand, was it a mistake? Did you leave, did you, was it a goof where you just forgot that you, you didn't even notice that you didn't check Gary Jeter's box? I don't know. I need to be illuminated. And I don't want you hiding behind the shroud of secrecy. Yeah. I think that's cowardly. I really do. Again, this is not a vote for president or senator or congressman or woman. It's not. This is the entertainment industry. Tell me why you feel that Derek Jeter's not a Hall of Famer. That's all I need to hear. I'll debate you. And how sensitive can you be? You're in a business where you have to write and criticize players. So right. I'm sure once they got on social media, Michael, they've had to deal with people disagreeing with them when their team gets ripped or they've criticized managers. You know, so the now three, all of a sudden now is when they don't want to do that? The three people that didn't vote for Griffey, they never got discovered, ever. So we might not ever know who this one person is.